Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful and super super easy triangle shawl in Tunisian crochet. It's the simple stitch, it's very very easy to do, it's a one row repeat, so it's a perfect pattern even for beginners. I use the Scarfy line brand yarn and I will open this up so you can see the colors even better but you can use any yarn any color you like and now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this beautiful shawl for this pattern you will need a Tunisian crochet hook in the size nine millimeters I use the ones from Denise interchangeable and I just love them they are very very easy to work with and you can get them on Amazon or on her website plus you will also need a longer cable since we be using the Tunisian crochet technique our stitches will be on our cable so you just need an extra cable to connect to your crochet hook you will also need a pair of scissors a yarn needle and we will be using the lion brand scarfy yarn i use the mustard color it's just beautiful and it has like a cream color in it i will show you from the side and you will need one skein of that so let's get started we start with a slip knot and we will chain two so one and two now you need the second stitch from your hook which is the first one over here so skip one insert your hook into the next stitch grab your yarn and pull up you have two loops on your hook and now you will grab your yarn again and go only through the first loop you have two loops, grab your yarn and go through both loops. This was our first row. For the next row, you will skip this first loop over here. And at the end, you can see there is our border stitch. And it always has like a little crossover, like you can see over here. What we are going to do, we are going to insert our hook just under one loop. So just under the one loop over here, grab our yarn and pull up. You have two loops on your hook. What we will be doing now, insert the hook again into the same stitch, but now through both loops. This is very important that the last stitch is always through both. Now grab your yarn and pull up. And now you can see we have three loops on our hook the left side will be our border and this will be the side that is growing so now grab your yarn and only go through the first loop grab your yarn and now go through two loops grab your yarn again and go through the other two loops and this is how our work looks like right now for the next round you will skip the first loop and insert your hook into the next stitch grab your yarn and pull up now again we are at the border stitch you can see it has a little cross over there and you will insert your hook just through the first loop or through one loop grab your yarn and pull up we have three loops on our hook and now we go back into the same stitch but through both loops this is very important to go through the both loops and now we have four loops on our hook so grab your yarn and go only through the first loop and now through two go through two loops grab your yarn go through two grab your yarn and go through the last two loops and this is our one row repeat for this whole shawl i will show you two more rows so you understand the pattern but you see it's very very easy so always skip your first loop over here go into the next loop grab your yarn 
and pull up into the next stitch grab your yarn and pull up and now we are at the border stitch again like you can see here and it's just important that we first go only through the first loop over here that's very important first loop over here grab your yarn and pull up and now again into the same stitch but insert your hook through both loops for the border stitch and pull up and now we have five loops on our hook for the border stitch you just grab your yarn and only go through the first loop and now go through two loops all the way till you have one loop left on your hook and this is our one row repeat and you will see your shawl is growing just by itself. I will show you one more row. So again, we skip the first loop over here, go into the next one, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and again into the next stitch. Now we are again at the border stitch and here again, only through the first one first grab your yarn and pull up and now go through both loops into the same stitch for our border stitch make sure you have two loops on your hook pull up your yarn and now you can see we are working back so one loop through the border stitch and now through two loops all the way till you have one loop left on your hook and this is our one row repeat. You will repeat this row over and over again and you will see your shawl is growing just by itself. I will keep crocheting and I will show you in just a moment how my shawl looks like. So keep repeating this row over and over again and I see you back in just a moment. And this is how it looks like. I just love those colors. I just love this pattern. You see, it's very, very easy to do and it grows so fast. I have this much yarn left. And now um, I will show you how to do the last row of our shawl. The last row, it's very, very easy. You just insert your hook into the first stitch, grab your yarn and pull up and now make a slip stitch go into the next stitch grab your yarn pull through pull up and make a slip stitch and you will repeat this in every stitch it's very very easy so insert your hook into the stitch grab your yarn pull up and make a slip stitch and this will make a beautiful border like you can see over here. So keep repeating this until you get to your last stitch. I'm here at my last stitch and to finish off, you just grab your yarn, make a slip stitch and now chain one, pull tight, grab your scissors and cut the yarn. Grab your hook and pull through and pull tight and all you're going to do now is just sew in both of your ends i sewed in all my ends and my shawl is finished um you can see that it's curling a little bit and this is normal in tunisian crochet so what i'm going to do i'm going to block this shawl it's very very easy I will show you in just a moment how I do it. Um, I live in Germany, so I have a different washing machine. So don't wonder about that. But the first thing we are going to do is grab our shawl and put it in cold water with a little bit of soap. And I let it soak for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then I put it in the washing machine and I turn it on for a light spin. So it's not so, so wet anymore. After I'm done with that, I'm going to block it on a carpet, on a mat. You can use whatever you want. Just pull it in the form you like it to. Grab some needles and just 
yeah block it on a carpet with some needles and then just let your shawl dry my shawl is dry now and we are done i hope you enjoyed this tutorial excuse my english i know it's not the best i'm from germany but i still wanted to make an english tutorial for that i hope you had a great time crocheting this beautiful and easy tunisian crochet shawl with me of course i would love to see your pictures you can find me on instagram have a wonderful day and i hope to see you back soon Bye.